For this lesson, we're going to begin to talk about how the sail actually works, how we actually get movement out of the boat. What I've drawn on the boat uh, looks no doubt familiar, and perhaps it looks like an airplane wing if I did it really well. And most of us are familiar that airplane wings allow the, the plane to uh, stay in the air and fly based on lift, that the, the geometry forces created as the plane drives through the air actually create lift, which is negative pressure on the top side and positive pressure on the bottom side, which is lifting the wing up. take that same wing and take some of the structure away and put it on my sailboat, I start to have the same effects. If this represents the wind, then the wind coming across my sailboat, sail creates a negative and a positive pressure, which creates lift, and in this case, creates a force in that direction. And I have the same thing happening with my foresail, where I have lift based on negative pressure and positive pressure wanting to pull the boat sideways. What keeps the boat from going sideways is the basic hull of the boat and the keel itself that's resisting that sideways movement, countering that with its own forces and ending up with a resulting forward drive of the boat going forward. When we're sailing into the wind like this, we are what we are calling uh, in pull mode. Where the forces that are creating the lift are actually pulling the boat forward because they're being countered by the hull and the keel, which gives me a resulting forward motion. The when I, when I switch and start to go downwind, same wind direction, But now I have the wind behind me, I'm being pushed by the wind. And we would call that simply push mode. So two modes of sailing, pull mode, where the wind's coming over the sails, creating a pressure differential that gives me lift push mode, which is simply the wind pushing on my cells, driving me downwind. One of the things that we need to think about in our pole mode is that unlike the airplane, I don't have a rigid structure that's holding my sail in shape. It's made of cloth, in most cases Dacron, and can collapse on me. So it's important to, to realize that I actually can't sail directly into the wind. I can't sail directly into the wind because I have no shape 
left in the sails. All of that's taken out. I have to be at an angle to the wind sufficient to give my sail shape to create the lift forces that I need. And recall being headed directly into the wind, being uh, in irons, and it actually represents a range of about 45 degrees on either side of directly into the wind uh, where you can't get enough shape in the sail to create the lift you need to pull the boat forward. This whole range is called the no-go zone. The zone where I really can't drive the boat. There are different ranges for the no-go zone based on the characteristics of the particular boat. Some of your racing boats, that no-go zone might be, you know, more like 35 degrees on either side. For the day sailors that we tend to use, it's pretty much 45 degrees on either side of the wind where we can't get enough shape in the sails to actually sail the boat. Otherwise, we can sail the boat in any other direction other than into the no-go zone.